Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for mid-July. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. I do have a black and blue so you guys don't need to comment on it. I believe I ran into a doorbell. Uh, not a doorbell, a doorknob. A doorknob. So um, I am always doing that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I think that's what happened. I, I can't really remember but I, fair, I faintly remember it, I think. But anyhow, don't worry about it. So anyway, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Mid-July. <laughs> Doorbell. I was just laughing at that. Anyhow, um, what do we got for Aries? Ooh. So, we're going to do it differently this time. We're going to do uh, you and the other person, you and them. So, you pick a side. This may be your side. This may be your, your side. Whatever. But this is the end of a contract. That is the end of a contract. Okay? I mean, that's what it is. It's not meant to be. Over here, we have some tension. We have some tension. We have some conflict. Ten of Wands. This is this is uh, releasing a contract, releasing a partnership, releasing a partner. Okay, releasing something heavy, releasing a burden, breaking free, making a conscious change. So we have somebody here that is, is breaking free from something that has been weighing them down. Alright, I just had to push pause for a second. I do apologize. I had an unexpected visitor. So, let me get back to this. This is the, the end of a contract and for this person. This is, this is something that has been weighing somebody down. And it's coming to an end. Can't, can't, can't carry this anymore. It's too heavy. I need to drop it. So there's a partnership or a contract that is coming to an end. Over here we have tension, conflict. Ooh, the Empress. Now this could be a mother. This is somebody who... Could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Libra, that she gives birth to a new life. She's very she's a creator. She's abundant. <laughs> she's nurturing. She's got a lot to offer. So over here we have somebody here that may be dealing with some conflict over this individual. Or we have this person that knows their value. This person um, doesn't chase. This person allows. Oh, there's a lack of coming together. There's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of peace here. Somebody is frustrated. That's why there's tension. For this person, we have somebody that is frustrated. Maybe because this person has so many options. Hmm. They, somebody could be frustrating with, you know, start being frustrated with starting a new life. Interesting. Read another one. Prince of Pentacles. Somebody's dealing with a Taurus. You see that bull? This is Taurus. This is Taurus. Could be somebody maybe dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a uh, Virgo or Capricorn. But we have Taurus a couple times here. So now this is this is a new opportunity. This is the, basically the Page of Pentacles. So we have a new opportunity here. Something. You know that could grow into something big so this is starting over and this is the start this is the beginning the birth of it so there's an opportunity to start something new but there may be competition so that could be the problem because this is a card of competition as well and she does have multiple options so you know somebody could be competing for her attention um, hmm Four of Wands reversed. There's an upcoming celebration coming for this person. An upcoming celebration. Unexpectedly. 
that could lead to the commitment. And I know that's hard to believe, but this is letting go of one contract and perhaps getting into another. Queen of Wands. This is somebody that is very, very attractive. This is a force to be reckoned with. This is, this is, uh, yeah very powerful energy so we have a very um exciting opportunity here we have somebody over here that is letting go of a contract they're dropping something and they may be getting into another one and uh, i mean i'm just being honest with you three of swords pain heartache heartache i mean this is painful so yeah, there's a, there's a severing of ties of some sort here, severing a contract that is, is going to, you know, give somebody their power back. It's going to help somebody to regain their strength and regain their confidence and, and, and regain their courage. This is a definitely going to give some, it's going to boost, it's going to give somebody a boost letting this go. Not putting in effort, three of pentacles. That's funny that these come out together. Somebody. <laughs> is making a conscious change. To let go of a false contract. Or an old contract. Or, you know, a partnership that has really, you know, caused them some pain. And it feels like when they let it go, they get this boost of energy. They get this boost of enthusiasm. And somebody, it's almost like somebody comes in. It feels like you don't even have to try. You're not even looking for it. And here it is. Here it is. All of a sudden, this person is here. They're here to help. They're here to, you know, work with you. They're going to help you. So it feels like somebody is arriving to help you. Interesting, huh? Over here, we have some tension. We have some competition. We have this beautiful person. This person is beautiful inside and out, this empress. She has life experience. Uh, there's disharmony, though. There's, there's a lack of peace. She may not be at peace. There's disharmony. There's a new opportunity that is opening up. She's starting over. This person may be starting over and she may be tense about starting over. Oh, judgment. Judgment. So this is a card of releasing the past. It's a card of forgiveness. It's a card of a revelation. It's a truth. It's an awakening. It's a wake-up call. It's a, it's a card of the phoenix rising from the ashes. So we have somebody here that is is basically rising from the ashes more beautiful than before this person has become more beautiful than ever before queen of pentacles reverse somebody is dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this person is very much focused on their money focused on their job, focused on their abundance. They may put more effort into um, that than they, than they do anything else. This person um, may not feel like it's time. They may, they may be in a space of, you know, discomfort even because they're facing some sort of major change okay this is a this is a transformation it is a transformation it's a renewal it's a spiritual renewal it's like this person is is going through a huge transformation and um so therefore they may be a little ungrounded they may not be really focused and able to uh reciprocate fully six of cups this is this is the six of cups is the past Okay, so there could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past for this person. There could be a reconciliation with the Six of Cups and the Judgment card. So over here, we there could be a reconciliation. Um, could be with the, the mother of your children. 
It could be, it doesn't have to be, it could be with somebody who is a mother. It could be with somebody who is very abundant, somebody who is beautiful, somebody who is a creator, somebody who, you know, is, is very, very, um, well put together whoever this person is but anyway we we have we we have a this could even be a past life connection with the judgment in the six of cups there could be a past life connection with somebody that you don't even know in this lifetime okay but you feel the familiar re, familiarity of it so just keep that in mind there is a reconciliation here with somebody that you have known before but i feel like we have we have this person over here who may not uh, think they're ready from it for it. They may not think they're ready. They're dealing with some conflict. They're dealing with some tension. Um, but they're starting over. They're at the very beginning of something. Therefore, you know, they they may feel insecure. They're they're starting to come out of the darkness. They may they may not trust. They may have been ghosted in the past. Um, they've been left behind. So. Whoever you're dealing with definitely is is in a place of of sorrow. I think this person is is probably still healing from something, and they probably see the opportunity for love. They probably do. There's probably they probably you know something is going to be brought to light that that gives this person an opportunity to go down a new path with somebody new. But I feel like this person isn't quite ready. They may say that they're not ready, or they may feel like they're not ready. They may feel like there there there's there's too much disharmony here. This person is going through a major transformation. And there's an opportunity for, or they have gone through, either they're going through it now or they have gone through it. This person has gone through a major transformation or they're going through it now. This person is extremely beautiful. Absolutely. Because they've been through some serious, serious suffering. So, um... There's an opportunity to reconnect. There's a reconnection here. Could be a past life connection. Um, somebody's about to go down a new path. And it leads them... It, I mean... This is a new prospect. Beginning to realize this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to... Perhaps fall in love. Four of Swords. This person is probably exhausted taking a break needs to take a break may not want to get into a relationship because they're still going through their transformation this person is probably more focused on their money more focused on their abundance more focused on trying to be abundant you know get their shit together get their life together and then now there's an opportunity that comes out of the blue. I feel like this opportunity comes out of the blue for this person. So I feel like you are dealing with a person who may feel like they're not ready, but this this person is very, 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 very beautiful. This person um, is probably taking a break. Um, but with perseverance and nurturing... This can grow into something. It can grow into something beautiful. Um, Prince of Wands. This is, a, this is a suitor that is very well suited. So there's a suitor for this person that coming in probably very quickly that is very well suited for you. Okay. This is somebody who is a very good match. This is an exciting opportunity. Um, this is good news. This person will probably invite you or to go somewhere or you'll meet this person. It feels like it's very spontaneous. It, it happens, you know, it's like there's a, this instant, um, well, what's that word? Oh my God. Oh God, what the hell is this? I got it too, but I can't think of it. It's like that. It's like instant attraction but this person tries to push it away. You know what I mean? It's like somebody tries to push it away, but they can't really push it away. Do you know what I mean? 
um, you know, it's like, you know, you know, this is the one, that kind of thing. Um, I think that you have known this person before. So whoever this side is for, we have the birth of a new life with somebody that is very well suited for you. <laughs> Whatever. Um, let's go back over to here. There's a reconciliation of some sort. But I don't think it's with, I think it's with somebody that you don't expect. I really do, because this is a severing of ties of, with the wrong one. Okay? So, I think it's, this is not who you think it is. That's what I think that is. So, I think over here we have a reconciliation for somebody. Somebody is reconciling with, you know, their soulmate. That's what I think this is. And it's not who you think it is. It's not. So you probably got a name, right? I don't think you know who this person is. That's what I'm trying to say. You may know them, yes, in this lifetime, but it's not the person that you think it is. It's somebody that, from your past. I know that's hard to believe, but that's what I think it is. So it's somebody from your past that you may not have even, you may have dated them a long time ago, but you may not have. Or you may have known them in a past life. I know I keep coming back to this because these are words that I, I need to say. I feel like there's a new suitor that is coming in. I think it's very spontaneous, like serendipity. You're at the right place at the right time and you know. You just know this is the one. That kind of thing. That's what I think this is. Over here, we have somebody that is letting go of a false contract. And it feels like they're going to be working together with somebody else. And this is... This is, this is easy. It's not, it's not hard to deal with. Okay. Somebody is making a conscious change to let go of that false contract that has been hurting them. This is heartache. This is heart pain. The three of swords. Adjustment. This is, this is the final decision. It's final. This is finality. Making the final decision. This is contract. This is contract. So this is it. This is it. This contract is over. And it was probably a karmic contract so it feels like we have somebody here that is making a decision to you know end a karmic contract and work together with somebody else so I feel like these do kind of come together it's like I let go of this one and fall in love with this one you know and it happens so spontaneously it's like opens up it's like the doors open up the possibilities open up just like that um, and it is it, this is your this is strength reverse but it's labeled lust this is, this is something you really can't restrain yourself from. It's too attractive, right? It's, it, it makes you feel weak, you know? It's, it's, it's makes you, brings you right to your knees, whatever this, this person is. So I feel like there's, there's been, you know, a, a, a lot, somebody is, is, has been losing their focus, losing their concentration, hanging on to a false contract. And I think that the, they have restrained themselves and held back long enough, hoping that it was going to work. And now this person is opening up. It's like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for something passionate. I'm ready. So I feel like we have, we have somebody that is coming together, you know, seeing the light. Seeing the light, accepting the truth, seeing the truth. There's going to be some sort of truth that, you know, is realized. It's like they realize that they see this opportunity. They see the light. They see this big, bright opportunity. And it's like, this is it. This is it. So, uh, you know, you could be letting go of a Pisces. You could be letting go of a Leo. I could be letting go of a Libra. But anyway, there's a final decision being made. Or they could be letting go of you because of these could go either way. Somebody is making a final decision to end a karmic contract. It's over. It is. It's been painful. It's been, there's been a lot of suffering. There has. And I think it's to work together. Somebody is going to be coming together and working together with somebody else who is, can really take care of them. This person um, is probably a soulmate. So that's what I see. Um, yeah, there's a passionate new beginning here. There is. There is. There's a passionate new beginning. There is a new start. There's a fresh start. There's a, there's a new flame. So get ready, Aries. 
Things are about to explode and change for you. You're about, to, I mean, you think about the, you live again. This is what the phoenix is, dying to live again. Letting something end to live again. So be prepared. Whoever this person is, this person is, <laughs> she's compassionate, beautiful, kind, nurturing. If you are the woman watching this, somebody is going to see your beautiful heart. They're going to see your beauty. And that is what I got. If you are the male watching this, this is who you're, who's coming into your life. And it's an exciting opportunity. Good luck.